This is the Horse Radio Network. I am Glenn the Geek, and I am here with Dr. Wendy Ying, and we welcome you to this special preview episode of the second annual Holiday Radiothon by Weatherbeater. <laughs> It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Take a look at the bit of Britain Glistening once again With lather reins and silver curb chains that glow It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas Toys in every store But the prettiest sight you'll see are the horses that will be out your own front door. A pair of Cavallo boots and a pony that scoots are the wish of Wendy and Glenn. Hi, Glenn. That was so good. I know. That was Liz from last year. She We used that song to lead off the 12-hour holiday radiothon, and it was so much fun. We're going to have some previews coming up in this little special we're doing for everybody. We're going to have some previews coming up of some of the others that were submitted for this year and a little clip, a little peek into a very special guest that we've already recorded. But, Wendy, this is our second year doing the radiothon on November 28th. Are you ready? ready for 12 more hours? I'm ready. I can't wait. You know, I was listening to uh, I was listening to a little bit of all the hours from last year planning this year. At the end of the day, I could not talk. I, that final hour was pretty tough. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, you know you what did that great. means? You have to talk more what? this year. You're going to have to just do more work, Wendy. Sit, I will. You know what made you tired is you had to run all the tech too. Yes, well, and we're kind of we're changing that a little bit this year, but uh, we hope that we won't go down. That's the first hope. We went down yeah, during uh, during Bob right. Baffert last year, but the live feed did. But the recorded version was fine. And we just keep going here, no matter what happens during that twelve hours. Wendy comes up the day before, and we go over everything, and then uh, and then we get up early and we start rocking and rolling at nine a.m. all the way to nine p.m. It's going to be a lot of fun, and that's we no- can do it. We can do it. We have twenty hosts joining us this year. We've divided the hours up a lot of the same hours as last year. Like we have the stable scoop hour, the dressage hour. This year, we're adding the Equus Film Festival hour, and Ooh. the people from the Equus Film Festival are joining us, and they're going to bring on a couple of the filmmakers during that Great. hour. Yeah, it should be a lot of fun. Philip and Reese are actually going to be here. They're going to be here for dressage hour, uh, horsemanship, Debbie. Will be back. Uh, Certified Horsemanship will be back this year. Healthy Critters Radio is making their first appearance. And who oh, knows? They're fun. Maybe you're going to hear a dog. I don't know. Hedwick might show up. Stable Scoop. Uh, we're also going to finish out the same way we did last year with the same four hours. We started with driving and then author hour with uh, Lisa Waisaki, then horse husbands, then the wild and crazy eventing and horse nation hour to wrap things up. So we have a lot of terrific guests planned for you. And I- I'm so excited about this year. See, you know what? That's why you were tired because I got a break during horse husbands. You did. Yeah, we kicked you out. <laughs> And then also, you're not going to be tired this year because look at all the people that we have. I mean, the first year we did it, everybody thought we were crazy and it was going to be just like me and you. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be a disaster, they thought, but it was not a disaster. Last but they year... tuned in to, look, to watch the train wreck and it never happened because we <laughs> pulled it off. We had over 200 callers last year. We do, we're going to talk about that, how we want you to call in. But we had over 200 callers last year. We had over 100 voicemails. And then we had 30 guests, and we had all the hosts, and it was a busy day. And it went fast. I, know, I mean, fun. boom, boom, it boom, It went boom. really fast. Yep. And we're, you know, we had a year under our belt. So we should be better this year. <laughs> Let's hope. We have dozens of scheduled guests for this year. Some we can announce at this point. And some we cannot yet, but the one one of the ones that we did already that we pre-recorded because he couldn't make it that day was the one and only George Morris. So Jamie Jennings and I pre-recorded George Morris. Would you like to hear a little clip of the yes. upcoming interview? He will be in the first hour of Radiothon oh, on November 28th. So this is just a little clip. 
Well, I had a special treat on my birthday. My husband took me to go see the movie Harry and Snowman, and I was incredibly surprised oh, and yes. pleased to see you in that movie. Oh, that's a great movie, and I I knew Harry very well. And once he gave me a horse, it turned out to be my Olympic horse. And so Harry and I go back 60 years, and I knew Snowman well. I watched him many times. So uh, all of that movie was very nostalgic, and it was a beautifully done. Ron did a beautiful job with that movie, and it was very factual and great movie, great movie. And I know you saw the movie, too, and you got to see George in that movie as well. Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was really wonderful. Well, It was fun to see the old-fashioned uh, horse shows. Yes, and riding. The styles were yeah. a little different back then, too. He talks and, about that, by the way. Yeah, and I grew up in New England um, doing hunters, and it reminded me of that. You know, I mean, I was back in the Rust Bridges days, and we used to have shows in the field. You know, nowadays all the shows for hunters are, are at a showgrounds. Right. And before it was just a special time if we're at a showgrounds. But I love the kind of fair attitude, a- atmosphere we used to have back in the day. Well, you hear all about, about, more about that with George uh, during the Radiothon in the first hour. We're also giving away over $4,000 in prizes all day long, and this is where you come in. This is where the listeners can participate and win. The prizes just keep coming, and it's amazing the companies that we have supporting us this year. And some of those, I mean, we're going to be giving away prizes every hour on the hour, and then a $1,500 grand prize at the end of the day. So we have we have bridles. We have coffee packages. We have an official coffee sponsor this year from Cowgirl Coffee is going to be providing the coffee in the studio and also giving away a package of $100. We have North Run Saddlery is giving away a bridle of up to $200. Pick your bridle, any bridle. That's really nice stuff, too. I always like all the prizes. I know. Cavello Trek hoof boots twice during the day. And a custom Beta Biothane Deluxe head stall and halter combo oh i need that i know those are really nice actually (laughs) we also have total saddle fit you can pick your choice between an english or western shoulder relief girth oh i need that too kentucky performance products is giving away 175 dollars worth of products in the dressage hour horsemanship a membership to monty roberts equus university also one of his patented dually training halters oh my god and then i need all of this i know then it goes on biostars giving away two packages a of the biostar theracom eq and and her new book the book whole foods for horses two of those during her hour then Smooth Stride Jeans, a pair of those. I love stable those. Scoop. <laughs> yeah, I know you do. Also, because we have a very special guest coming on during Stable Scoop, Linda Tellington-Jones is joining us all the way Ooh. from Hawaii, and she's giving away one of her books. Then Driving. We're giving away an Equiderma Royal Spa treatment worth $160. Oh, my God. Duke needs that. <laughs> yeah. All horses need Equiderma. (laughs) And then, that doesn't stop there, Author Hour. We're giving away a Benefab Therapeutic All-Purpose Saddle Pad and Soar No More Ultra worth $120. Oh, come on. Horse Husbands, Equity, Flex and Fork, of course, because they're a big sponsor of the Horse Husbands Hour. And then, if... As if that isn't enough, we're giving away all day. At the end of the day, you could win a $1,500 grand prize with four Weatherbeater products. Weatherbeater Freestyle 1200 denier, a Detach a Neck Medium Blanket, Weatherbeater <sighs> Fleece Cooler, the Weatherbeater Elite All Purpose Pad, a Weatherbeater Exercise Boots. And then Noble Outfitters, in addition to all of that, is giving away a woman's or a men's prize pack of their canvas jackets, their all-around square toe boots, wave forks, uh, hoof picks, boot socks. That's worth over $500. And oh then Redmond God. Equine is giving away a year's supply of Redmond Rock on a Rope. 16 rocks on a rope, to be exact. Oh, my God. With a month's supply of daily gold, that's worth over $500. So all of that you can win. And the way you can win is simply by submitting us a voicemail between now and the 18th, now on November 18th, or calling in that day. Either one gets you put in the hat, and we're going to be pulling names all day long. Glenn, I have to tell you something. Yeah, you got to win. I think I need one of each of these things 
before the radiothon so that I can properly endorse the product. I will let them know, okay? I will, let, <laughs> I will let them know. So you this think year's go for it? theme, as you heard in the bumper this, uh, at the beginning of the show, is your fantasy ride. And what that means is you can call in and tell us your fantasy ride. So if you could pick any horse from history or currently any horse that's still alive, who would you most like to ride uh, over the holidays if you could ride one and why? And that's what we want. We just want you to give us a call. You can also, you know, well, I have an example of a fantasy ride that was already sent in. So here's a little preview of one of the voicemails that somebody sent. Hey, it's Gemma. Once again, calling to wish everyone at Horse Radio Network happy holidays and happy horsey days. I'd have to say that I'm lucky and that my fantasy ride happens every day of the week. That ride is the amazing ride that each HRN show takes us listeners on. Aww, you make us laugh, cry, educate us, and most importantly, bring us together into one beautiful, supportive, horsey family. However, if given the chance, I wouldn't pass up a ride on Vallegro. <laughs> anyway, here's to the ride. <laughs> I think Vallegro is going to be very popular this year. <laughs> I do, too. That was a super nice message. Thank you so much. That was great. And I feel the same way. It's like a big family. It's fun. So that's what you can do. Give us a call. There's a voicemail line. Uh, all the instructions are on our website at Radiothon at, at HolidayRadiothon.com and click the Enter to Win. HolidayRadiothon.com and click the Enter to Win. Now, some people get a little more clever from, than that and do send us songs and things. Uh, we, uh, You heard one of them earlier. Well, you can also write a poem if you're feeling clever. And this is Allison's. This is a sneak preview of Allison's poem. Hi, Horse Radio Network. I really enjoyed being able to listen this year and follow along with all your exciting adventures. And I thought today, in honor of Radiothon, I would write you guys a poem just explaining um, the things that I really enjoy about the Horse Radio Network and the reasons that I listen. So, here goes! The Horse Radio Network. It's a place we all love as we clean out our barn stalls or have feed bags to shove. When we plug in those headphones, the time passes fast. With Glenn, Jen, and Jamie, each chore seems a blast. Though each episode's fun, what's amazing to me is each time I hit listen, I'm learning, you see. From makeup to mustangs, or sheath cleaning too, from beet pulp to bridles, so much learning I do. The guests are amazing from all walks of life, some English, some Western, but rarely there's strife. This place brings us together, it breaks down the walls, it reaches the horse world, it touches us all. So why don't you listen? That's my question for you. There's 5,000 options, so pick one or two. And join us, the family of HRN land. Time spent here is exciting, and the ride has been grand. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm going to cry. <laughs> I know. That was really great, too. And I love really how good. everybody brings up the sheath cleaning. <laughs> that is like the most popular topic and song ever on the Horse Radio Network. <laughs> it probably is. So Jamie should be so proud. <laughs> so two options to win all those prizes. Send us a voicemail before the 18th. Go to HolidayRadiothon.com and click Enter to Win. It explains exactly how to do that. It can be simple. Just what is your holiday ride? What is your fantasy ride? You can write us a fancy song. You can write us a poem. You can do whatever you like. Just send it in and we'll play it that day. Or give us a call that day. The phone number will be on the website and we'll be announcing it before then give us a call that day say hi even if you don't get on the air we're gonna have 10 phone lines going all day long even if you don't get on the air then uh it doesn't matter because jennifer will be taking your name down and you'll be entered into the pool for the prizes so you definitely want to do that as well. How to listen live. Well, we have a new option this year, Wendy. You can listen on our app. You can go to iOS or Android and, and search for Horse Radio Network, download it, and there's a live button. That will carry our show all day. We didn't have the option to listen live on our app last year, so that's something new. You can listen on our website, on your phones or tablets or computers. All the websites uh, for the Horse Radio Network will have it, in addition to Horse Radio Network's main site. And then, of course, HolidayRadiothon.com. So there's a ton of different ways to listen. There's no excuse. We will be putting out the recorded version immediately after. So if you work in retail on Cyber Monday and can't get off, that's fine. You'll be able to listen. It'll go out hopefully that next morning. And you'll be able to listen then uh, right after that to all the hours of the show. 
I'm so excited. I hope you are too, Wendy. Is Dr. Kyle coming? Because he was the, he was the one that got us food. <laughs> so Yes, he, he can't wait. He <laughs> loves a, it. He's important. We didn't want to leave out our foreign listeners. Uh, even though we can't send them prizes, we'd love their entries, like this one from last year. That was Sarah and her gang from her barn in Sweden, and they sang us a, a Swedish Christmas carol. So that was very cool. We love we love, love, love voicemails in other languages, even though we can't understand a word they're saying. So, but it's very pretty. So, it was very pretty. November 28th, it's coming up. Get your entries in now. You can do a voicemail and a call, too, to win. You can do both and be entered twice. I'm looking forward to it, Wendy. All right. See you soon. Keep this shiny side up. And we're going to end this special episode, this special preview with last year's entry from Ramona. Take care, everybody. Have a happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you Cyber Monday. Hark the podcast voices ring. Horse Radio Network headed by Glenn. Stable Scoop leads the way. Helena B is super sassy. Hit em wakes us all from slumber That girl moments Thor adventures Coach Jen guides the way Bringing bad ads on Friday Coach Jen steers the ship Shows us all good horsemanship Reese and Philip teach us all about passage and shoulder in. Dr. Wendy drives the car, oh. Chinese medicine for our heart. Jess and Samantha too, road to Rolex, don't lose a shoe. Every month special episodes, Mary Kids Miller and Hubbies too. That's the HRN crew, we want you to know we appreciate you.